What is going on, comic fam? Welcome to the Legion of Comics. I'm Mark, and today I've got a comic unboxing from Big Time Collectibles, as well as an AOK -OK from Burke Family 54 Comics. If you want to check out what I got, check this out. Quick announcement first, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm pushing to hit that 1,000 subscriber milestone, and I'm so close. I've got a lot of big plans set up, as well as a huge celebration. I cannot wait to give back to the community is my way of saying thank you for hitting this next, and in my opinion, epic milestone. I did not think that it would get this far nor this fast, so big thank you to everybody who supports the channel. And again, if you haven't already subscribed, definitely consider it. You will not want to miss out on what is in store. So like I said in the very beginning, I've got a comic unboxing from Big Time Collectibles as well as an AOK -okay from my good friend Steve over at Burt Family 54 Comics. And it's such an appropriate day to go ahead and open the package from Steve because it's Thursday. And that means tonight I will be on his channel for his Thursday night Power Up, uh, what is it? Powered Up comic review where uh, we hang out and we break down some of the uh, new releases from this week. So real quick, I am going to go ahead and open this AOK, -okay, then I'm going to show you what is for certain going to be an awesome, awesome and epic unboxing from Big Time Collectibles. I absolutely love that shop, man. They are awesome. So I did cut this open already. And here recently, uh, Steve went to a, a comic convention that wasn't too far from him. And he was able to get a press pass and talk to some creators and meet some celebrities. And he met one of my absolute biggest heroes from my childhood till present. He's such an awesome person. He's such a like, just got an inspirational story. He's such a good guy. But that's none other than Lou Ferrigno, the Incredible Hulk. So just like Christopher Reeve is Superman to me, Lou Ferrigno is the Incredible Hulk. Like he is legit in my mind. That's all you needed for the Hulk. I mean, I absolutely love getting the computer generated like modern hulks and everything but i am still to this day convinced when i watch the incredible hulk show or see lou ferrigno in the full makeup that's the hulk like he doesn't have to be any bigger than that in my mind and uh, i do have a signed uh what is it called just like a what is it called like a headshot of lou ferrigno and the hulk get up but steve was able to meet him and he got me a print and he got it signed and personalized to me so Dude, he just sent me a picture after he had gotten it done and said, dude, I picked this up for you. And that is amazing, man. Look at that. To Mark, good luck, Lou Ferrigno. That is just so amazing. Like, thank you so much, brother. That is, dude, that's getting hung up in the man cave. That is, that is just amazing. I don't know what else to say. Just, that is so cool. But it looks like Steve did throw in some stuff that I wasn't expecting. And we have some pool tabs here, so it looks like he threw a couple of books in there, obviously. That's what these are, but uh, let's see what books they are. So my man, like I said, got that pool tab on there. Oh, that's some strong painter's tape. It's actually sticking to the bag really well. <laughs> All right. All sweet, sweet. So the first one we got is the Joker issue number six, and this is the Suicide Squad movie variant with the Thinker, Harley Quinn, and uh, Mongol's sister, whatever her name was, Mongal. But that's sweet. They've been doing a lot of these, like for the Snyder Cut movie, they, they did those three up there, not counting the ratio of black and white variants, but they've been turning these out nonstop. So that's a really cool one. I'm not sure who the cover artist is on it. Maybe that, is that a John boy? Down here, it looks like it says. I don't know if I'm going to get that to focus. It looks like it says John boy on it. I'm not sure if that's a John boy Myers or what. But anyways, that's an awesome cover. Thank you so much. And then that, oh, <laughs> dude, that's appropriate. That's so appropriate. But it looks like an issue of Black Panther with the Marvel Legacy. It's going to be hard to get. We got Black Panther there. It looks like he's got the claw in the reflection. But it's homaging that Incredible Hulk 340, which I'm actually wearing this shirt right now that uh, my wife got me here at a local con over the summer that she held till we, till my birthday. So how appropriate. Dude, that's awesome. I need to get the Hulk 340 that I have and get it cleaned and pressed and graded. I might do that soon. Send it to Justin Comics and see if he can't 
get it pressed out nice for me. So next up, big time collectibles. These people are awesome. I can't sing their praises enough. There's their information where you can find them on Facebook, on Instagram, uh, the Twitter, yeah, and Twitter. So uh, Nelson, the guy who runs the shop, he's top class. He knows what he's doing. Great guy. And I love the fact that they use these comic shields. I know I've have heard people that say that they're not big fans of them, but I get stuff from big time collectibles and other shops that send it. I got something today in that came in a comic shield, which I'll definitely show in a video probably that'll come out next week. Super excited. There's going to be an epic, epic Jang gang video. Like I've gotten so much stuff piled up from the John Jang stuff, but this right here, I've definitely been looking for, and look, they come in Mylar. I got four different books here. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh my god! Oh my god! Those are insane. Those are insane. So first off, we have Ice Cream Man issue number twenty-five, and this is a John Jang variant, and that's the trade dress, and it did have a standard trade dress Virgin set. Normally, when you get his stuff up, well, not normally, but a lot of times. The virgins are slightly different than the trade dress, so it makes it where you definitely want to keep both. But, dude, this is a wicked cover. Like, he's super good with the horror stuff. He's super good with, like, mechanical-looking stuff. And we have this robot-looking thing, this horrific robot-looking thing leaning out and licking the ice cream. That is wicked. I saw that. I'm like, dude, where did you come up with this stuff? That is just so wicked. And see, so we got the back. All black and for an all black cover, man, there's not a spine tick, there's not color rub, just pristine, pristine looking. Big, again, big time collectibles, man. They know what they're doing over there. Definitely check them out. So let's look at this last one. This last one is not a John Jane cover, which when it comes to retailer exclusives, that's pretty much all I really go for. There's countless amazing covers out there, and I do grab some here and there when they just really stand out to me. Uh, and this one is one of those that just really stood out to me. And it's an artist that I absolutely love. And I, I've definitely talked about and have some of this stuff like on display, just actually right out of the camera view over here. But this is the Miko Suyan cover for Superman 78 issue number one. And it is that Jim Lee homage. Oh, we look at that. Like, geez, that is amazing. I love the trade dress, how it's in the actual font. Let's see if we can hit it real quick. See the Superman poster up there? It's in the actual font. Look at that. That's so cool. But, yeah, it's like that. Uh, homage to Superman cover he did. And then I got the minimal trade dress as well. So it's a set. And it companion pieces with the Batman ones that they did for 89. So there's Batman 89 number one. And you know we've got to do it. You, you know we got to do it. we got to put those bad boys together. Look at that. That is amazing. I'm sorry for the glare, but these things are in some good bags and boards. There's actually like a chandelier over my head. The lighting in here is not meant for videoing, but we do it anyways, right? We do it anyways. We're going to make it. But, dude, he, he crushed this, dude. Like, we got to get one of these. We got to free bag it, as Louie would say. Oh, man, great paper quality. Again. Oh, look at the back. That is amazing. So this was a shared exclusive with Slab City Comics which I've never bought from them before, I don't think. I think I might have one comic that was one of their exclusives that I got through eBay or something, but I've never checked them out. But I bought these, like I said, from Big Time Collectibles because if I see that they're one of the shops that holds one of the variants, that's definitely my first choice to go to when it comes to online retailers. Like They would be the number one person that I recommend you go check out. They carry a lot of amazing variants. You got like Alan Qua stuff on the reg. Miko Suyon, John Jang, like they have some fantastic artists. And Alan Qua, it's got there's a, one of his covers that I'm kind of watching like a hawk, and it's that primordial number one that comes out yesterday. It was my top pick for this week. If you watch uh, the Comic Bets channel where we do that uh, top pick video that, together that premieres on his channel every Sunday, it was a uh, Jeff Lemire is writing it and uh, Andrea Sorrentino is doing the art which is the same creative team that was that did Gideon Falls but I mean I can't find my tape anywhere this is how there it is they did Gideon Falls but it's about a space monkey the ones that we sent out into space in that test flight 
but uh just the story of what happens to them like they get picked up by aliens or whatever and uh they come back to earth and it sounds really cool but alan paul has an amazing looking variant that just i don't know he just does some really cool variants they're always really busy a lot going on on them but i might might go check that out but I'm going to leave a link in the description to Big Time Collectibles. So if you have not already checked out their site, hit that link. Go check them out. Follow them on Instagram. I'll drop that stuff down below, as well as a link to Burke Family 54 Comics YouTube channel. And if you've never gone over there and check it out, do that. Come over there, hang out tonight, join the chat. It's always a blast. It's definitely a good time. And like I said, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button here as well. So close to that 1,000 subscriber milestone. Join in the fun, be part of the uh, hangout and the celebration, and definitely watch to be able to enter for your chance to win some amazing and epic prizes. So as always, until next time, I'm Mark, but we are Legion.